forgot to knit into the sorry. Hi guys, so today I'm doing my April. April favorites. I know I did a March favorites. I believe I did a February favorites. I could be wrong. So I do do favorites every month. Since I've been on YouTube. I've only been on YouTube I think like three months. Kinda forget. You know I made my YouTube account but I didn't make videos right away. Okay, I have a lot of things, and most of them are makeup products. I have a lot of favorites this month. A lot. I guess I'll just get started. Quickly. Um, I'll just kind of go with the flow. Um, my Revlon photo ready. It never focuses. I don't like this camera. I mean, the quality is better, but it doesn't focus. It's not. It's in 003 Shell con Conch. You tell me what it stands. Um, I really like it. It gives a really good matte finish. Doesn't leave it like a too dewy finish, which I don't like. It is when it's like a dewy finish and it's greasy looking. So that's good, but I said it, but still, I don't like dewy finishes like that. And I'm just going to do this kind of random. Uh, I guess I'll just do all my face products first. Like face makeup products, and then I'll do skincare because I have a lot of those too. This is the Fit Me Press Powder, and this is in 120 Classic Ivory, and I'm pretty sure... This was in my last favorite. I need to get a new one super duper bad. It's already at pan. A little depressing. And this I just recently got. This is my latest haul. Is this. Which is. I forget what it's called. Oh, contouring and blush bronzer. I hear it's a lot like the. Bronzer. And stuff for. NARS, their contouring thing, has swatches, but I wouldn't know, I don't, I've never used any NARS product whatsoever, I want to, so yeah, and I guess since I'm on that, I only have one brush, it's the Full Face, no, Kabuki Face Brush by e.l.f., yeah, this was e.l.f. also, I don't think I said that. But yeah, it's really fluffy and it blends your makeup in really nicely. I love it. I need to clean it though. Look. It's gross. I just recently got a cleaner. So, yeah. And then, yeah. Um, a decent cleaner. Every other time I've used antibacterial soap and extra virgin um, olive oil. I've seen videos on that saying that that works really well. But I just recently got this and this is also one of my favorites. It's the e.l.f. brush shampoo. So yeah, I like this. It cleans your brushes very nicely. It's soft. I've only used this a couple times, so I can't give a full review on it yet. But so far, I like it. That's why it's in my favorites. And these are the two mascaras I go and grab every day. I don't use them both at the same time, but these are the two I always grab. And this was in my favorites last month. This is the Great Lash, lots of lashes. It's just got a. Well, this is what the wand looks like. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. It's in very black. And this one is blackest black, um, voluminous, voluminous, oh, oh, full definition voluminous mascara. I got the letters rubbed off on the side. But it's just got like, um, Kind of real bristles. They're called teddy bear bristles. That's what it said on the packaging. And I got this like a couple a while ago. I got this last month and it's still a lot and it looks really good. Really like that. Um, and then the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I've been using this almost every single day since I got it and I got it. Uh, two Sunday last week, two weeks ago, and I'll use it as um 
an eyeshadow base. Um, white eyeliner on my waterline. I really like it. It's really creamy and it's really pigmented. And then this I use pretty much every day. Also, when I first got it, I was like, ew, I don't like this. Ugh. Because I used to use liquid eyeliners on my waterline. And I didn't like this one on my waterline because it wasn't pigmented enough. But that's because... That's not it. That's because they're not meant to be on your waterline. That's kind of... Well, some are. This one wasn't good for that. But I really like it for my upper lash line and my bottom lash... My bottom lash line. Oh, that's a lot. It's really pigmented. It's, a, no. it's just like a really black. And I really like it. I kind of did that in sloppy. Usually the lines are a lot more fine. And I like it because of how long and thin it is. So it's easy because I don't like big lines and I don't like wings. It winged out that much. That's why I like that. Well, since I'm on the topic of eyes... Um, I got, this was just featured in my haul, and I got this on Sunday, but I, it's already one of my favorites. I'm not wearing it today, because I didn't feel like doing my makeup this morning, my eye makeup this morning, but I did it yesterday, the day before that. Oh. But, this is what it looks like, and it's in 500 Addictive Exotic, I think that's how you say it, I could be wrong. And it's Revlon Color Stay. It's just like a neutral palette. And it's just in the back how to do it. And I did it like that. And it looks really good. It's really pretty. I'm probably going to do it tonight for church. But I really like it. I recommend it. All the Revlon Color Stay things, they all have this on the back. And it's a really good way to recommend this if you're just starting out with makeup and stuff. Because it's, it's it was really, it was like $6. So that's not that expensive. And... It shows you all where to use it and stuff on the back. So you don't have to, like, try and figure it out yourself. And then the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. This is the eye primer I've been using for a really long time now. I got, I, this is my third, third one. Um, I started using this in November. So it's, I recommend it. I want to try the Urban Decay. I'm, I'm going to admit it, I'm new to makeup like before I honestly thought all makeup was drugstore products I'm not gonna lie to you I like lived under a box but I really like it it's um in the color sheer but it's truly just a nude color see that's what it looks like when you blend it out you can't even see it there's another one in the color blush but that doesn't really matter <sighs> well I'm just going to go on. I have a lot of hair products, and I have a couple of skin products, and I have a couple of random products. I have the Shine Erasers by e.l.f. I really like these. These are the oil blotting sheets. Contains 50 sheets, and it was a dollar, so can't go wrong with it. And I really like it. I recommend it. I really do. Especially if you're just setting off makeup and you have skin like me. Where some days it's oily and some days it's not. I have combination skins. Like in the morning I'll wake up and it will be dry. But then by the end of the day my face will be really oily. Or my skin will be really oily in the morning and it will be really dry by the end of the day. It's really weird. So I have really weird skin. The Clean and Clear Morning Burst. The Shine Control Facial Cleanser. Oil free with bursting beads. Wakes up you. Into skin with lemongrass. And fruit extracts. Johnson & Johnson. It's really been cleaning up my acne. I want to try the body washes. Because my back's been starting to break out. I don't know. It hasn't broken out. But I've had a couple dimples up there. I'm not going to lie to you. I know that's gross. But it's the truth. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And that's never happened to me before. Only So I need to start doing that. I've only gotten like three things back there, but still, I don't want it to break out nastiness. I'm back me. Oh, that's gross. Sorry. Um. Then the Mary Kay Sanita Hands Smooth Smooth San. It's like a hand. It's um an exfoli exfoliator for your skin. Yeah. 
Oh my god. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells like peaches. You know, like, those little peach rings? That's what it smells like. It smells so delicious. Like, I want to eat it. And then, I have my doll treatment moisturizer. The generic brand at Target. And it smells good. Personally, I think it doesn't smell that bad. And it's, it's making my face very moisture. And it's oil free, which is good for my awkward skin. And then I got my split remedy. Trust me, split remedy. It juices up to 80% of split ends. I know it says on the back you're supposed to use it with the Trust Me Split End treatments, but I don't like Trust Me Shampoo and Conditioner. So I've been using my. Um, for a while, I was using the uh, Pantene Aqualite, but I decided not to like that anymore. So I've been using. Uh, I don't remember what the shampoo's called. But it's by Pantene and the volumizing. But the it's, it's a different shampoo. It's like really good for your it's really good for your um it's really good for damaged hair. So that's really good because I have really bad ends. It's nasty. So I put this in my hair every day after I take a shower and I just I start at my I I do my ends right here because that's where they're really bad and I work my way up to my ears. Some people are like, that's really high, but I have layers and stuff. I just want to go just to a good point. Mm -hmm. And the Suave Professionals Touchable Finish Hairspray. Salon proven to hold as well as Substance. Lightweight hold. It's, it smells good, and it truly does have a lightweight hold. Um, I... Just got this yesterday, but my sister had it, and I was using it every now and then. I'd use it from her, and yeah. So I'm not gonna say, "Oh, it holds so good," and I only used it once, and that was today. That's because I had my hair like a little poofy thingy, but I like it, and I used it when my sister had it, so it's really good. It smells good. And then, I may have, I could be wrong, featured this in my favorites or my like, top 10 favorites or something like that. I'm not sure I know who's going to. I don't even know if I have a top 10. I know I recorded the video, but I'm not sure if I liked the video, so I didn't put it up. But then I have my Forever Sunshine from Bath & Body Works. And I got this last summer, but I've been using it on and off since then. I need more, see? Need more. I'm not even sure if they still sell it, which I'd be really sad if they don't. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Wow, this is a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show. It's this. This is like my all time favorite nail polish. I'm not wearing it now, but I was like for a while. It's second honeymoon. It's like this light pink. It's showing up so much lighter than it is. It's truly not that light. It's a nice baby pink. I'm not trying to see here make the video long. But last night I was at Target and I was getting a couple of things. And I got I wanted to try these because I've heard so many good reviews on them. And so I was twisting it and twisting and twisting it. And this bottom part popped off. I was so upset. And then I finally got it on. And then the top part popped off. I mean, I'm wearing it right now because I, like, went like that. But it popped off. So upset. But I, I really like the pigmentation it, it got. And it's in perfect pink. So I'm going to go out and I want to try more. And I think I just got a bad one. And that's probably just the case. And I can't sit here and complain about it because it was a dollar. Like the paint, the the product itself is good. Just the container it's in is bad. So yeah. Oh, one of my other favorites are bandos. This is my bandeau. Sorry, I'm not trying to show you my boobs, but I'm wearing it. I'm in love with it. I want to get more. So bad. Like really, really bad. 
So yeah. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Have a good day. Peace out. Happy May. Be happy. Peace out.